Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire, where I show you how to dominate in the crypto markets. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing PancakeSwap. Now the whole point of the cake token is to stake and earn rewards. So in this video, it's gonna be an in-depth tutorial about how to get your hands on some of that precious cake token and start staking to earn those rewards. So let the gains be with you. If you're new to Crypto Empire, or maybe you've been watching for a while now and you just haven't subscribed yet, before we get any further, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment down below if you've been making those cakes over on the Binance Smart Chain with PancakeSwap. But let's jump into the computer right now and go over what PancakeSwap is and how to get your hands on some, and most importantly, how to stake that cake and earn that guap, aka more cake token. Let's go. Okay, so taking a look at the market cap, today is currently March 28th, and Bitcoin is trading at $55,823. We have a market cap of 1.75 trillion, and Bitcoin dominance is sitting under 60% at 59.4%, which of course is what we want. Binance coin, $268, number three in market cap. And now we're gonna be talking about pancake swap in this video, pancake swap number 44 in market cap. Now Pancake is essentially the decentralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain network, which is why I just brought up the Binance coin. Binance coin is going to be increasing in value as more users migrate to the Binance Smart Chain because fees on Ethereum are absolutely through the roof and nobody wants to be paying astronomically high prices to participate in the blockchain network to stake to earn rewards. So this is exactly why Pancake Swap and the Cake token is on my radar and it should be on your radar as well. So pancake swap currently trading at $16.16, $2.3 trillion market cap. Now the total supply at this point in time is only 145 million cake token. Now this is a scarce asset because a lot of it is staked in liquidity farms and a lot of people are providing liquidity, locking their cake up, which is gonna drive demand higher as more people realize the potential to earn yield on the Binance Smart Chain and pancake swap is your ticket to earning that yield. So if you want to get your hands on some cake, you have to find out where to buy it. Binance is going to be your go-to. If we go over here to markets, you can see that you can buy it right from the Binance exchange. You can buy it from KuCoin, or if you're already on the smart chain, PancakeSwap is your best bet. Okay, so now before I go any further, in order to maximize your yield, aka your interest earning potential on the Binance smart chain with PancakeSwap, you're also going to need BNB coins. So in order to get BNB coins, go to your Binance account, go to whatever exchange you're using, and you need to withdraw it to preferably your MetaMask wallet where it's already connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you wanna find out how to set up your MetaMask wallet and connect it to the Binance Smart Chain, I've already made a tutorial up on my YouTube channel. I'll put a card right up here so that you can go and watch the video. Set up your MetaMask because you need it to continue and to stake in your rewards on the PancakeSwap platform. So what you'll do is you'll paste your MetaMask Binance Smart Chain address right here. You'll make sure you select the BSC to withdraw and then you'll, let's say you bought 10 cake, you'll put 10 in here, you'll hit submit, and then your coins will be sent to your MetaMask wallet and you're ready to go. Once you have your coins, you're gonna come over here to the pancakeswap.finance website. That's pancakeswap.finance. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description below so that you make sure you are on the right site. So PancakeSwap, the number one automated market maker and yield farm on Binance Smart Chain. Yes, I agree with that. So you need to learn how to start making these rewards that everybody's talking about. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is trade your BNB for cake token. So in order to do that, you come over here to the left and you hit exchange. Once you get to this page, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna select cake as the currency that you wanna trade your BNB for. So also I will mention you need to connect your MetaMask on the top right, hit connect, then MetaMask and it will automatically connect for you. Also make sure you're on the right account. Okay, so after you've connected your MetaMask wallet, the amount of BNB in your wallet is gonna auto populate. As you can see, I have 0.48 BNB. Most of my BNB is actually locked up right now, but I need a little bit to show you guys how to do it on your own. So now you don't wanna send all your BNB for cake token. You want some BNB as well so that you can provide liquidity for the pair and then go and stake these liquidity provider tokens. I'm gonna to show you how to do that. But in order to do that, you first need to buy some cake with your BNB. So I have 0.48, I'm just gonna buy 0.2 worth of BNB, which is gonna give me 3.3 cake tokens. What we do is we hit swap, and then we hit confirm swap, and then we're gonna to need to approve the transaction in our MetaMask wallet, so all we do is hit confirm, and transaction will be submitted. 
gives us the option to view on the Binance Smart Chain scan, which is the same thing as Etherscan. You can see all the transactions that happen on the network. And just like that, our transaction is confirmed within five seconds. And we paid a very minimal fee on this. Yeah, we paid 47 cents for this transaction, which is great. On Ethereum, that would have been like 50 bucks. Okay, so now we have our K token and we have our BNB. Quick little tip, it's not gonna populate right away on your MetaMask. You need to input that manually. So you would go to add token, and then you would come over here and you would copy the token address of PancakeSwap from CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, whichever site you're using. You would just go back to your MetaMask. So you hit add token, you hit custom token, you paste that token address, it will automatically populate to cake. You hit next, you hit add tokens. Now your cake will show up right here alongside your BNB coin in your MetaMask wallet. As you can see, it already auto populated on the pancake swap exchange. So now you have both BNB and cake, you go to liquidity up here in the top. Now you go to add liquidity. Now we're gonna be adding liquidity for Pancake and BNB. And we're gonna go ahead and stake these liquidity provider tokens to earn more cake. So we select currency, we go cake. So we wanna hit max cake and you can see that that's 0.2 BNB. We just exchanged that same amount, so it makes sense. And then we wanna hit approve cake. So if this is a little confusing to you, just know when you're adding liquidity, you need to provide an equal amount of each token. So I'm providing 3.3 cake tokens which automatically means that I'm gonna provide 0.2 BNB because that is the equivalent amount. They equal each other. They equal each other out. So we confirm the transaction. First, we need to approve it. So whenever it's the first time doing something on the Binance Smart Chain Network or the Ethereum Network, you always need to approve the token that you wanna add liquidity to. After you do that, you supply the liquidity. So I'm gonna receive 0.78 BNB cake pool tokens, LP, liquidity provider tokens, whatever you wanna call it. You confirm that. Again, confirm this transaction in your MetaMask wallet. It's gonna confirm in like a second again because Binance Smart Chain is lightning quick, not like the Ethereum network where it's super congested and you're paying more for fees. Okay, so it's approved. We now have provided liquidity. We're liquidity providers now. We can see that down here where it says LP tokens in your wallet. We have that 0.78 cake BNB tokens. So now we wanna stake our cake BNB tokens. In order to do that, we come over here to farm because we're gonna be farming liquidity here with our liquidity provider tokens. So the first pair is cake BNB, okay? So we're earning 104% annually by staking our LP tokens. So now 104% isn't the worst return, but as you can see, some other pools are offering 291%, 398%. So there is a lot of potential to yield farm and make a ton of money on pancake swap. This is just a basic tutorial. I'm gonna be giving more in-depth guides in the future on this channel about which liquidity provider pools you wanna enter into to maximize your ROI. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel right now, but more importantly, I call out everything first in my free Telegram group. So go and join that free group right now. Link is in the description. So now we're gonna stake our tokens in this farm, okay? So we're gonna enable it first. Again, whenever we do something for the first time, we always have to enable it, approve it with our wallet. It's gonna take very quick to do it. It cost me 18 cents. We'll just wait this one out together. Okay, so it approved, and now we have the option to stake our liquidity provider tokens. So we hit stake LP, we hit max, and it's gonna come here. We have those 0.71 tokens, we hit confirm. And the, the fee to do this, 0 0.002 BNB, super, super inexpensive, very cost efficient, and we're gonna be making all those fees back with these yield generating activities and even more. So our transaction approved. As you can see, we now can see our staked tokens. We have 0.71 staked BNB LP tokens, and we're gonna earn all rewards in cake tokens. So that is how you earn more cake with your cake. All right, little play on words there. Like the video if you like that play on words. But that's not the only way you can actually be making money on the pancake swap platform. There's also syrup pools. Now what syrup pools are is you just put up your, your cake tokens. You don't have to add liquidity to a pair. With a syrup pool, you simply input your cake tokens into one of these pools and you get rewarded in whichever reward the pool is paying out. So if, if I put it in the cake pool, I would get it, be getting cake as the reward. If I put it in the Zillica pool, I would be getting Zillica as the reward. So keep this in mind, play around with this. There's awesome opportunities here. As you can see, the APY for these 
112%, 117%, 160%. There's a lot of money to be made here with DeFi and with yield farming. Now I will say there is some risk involved. As always with anything in finance, it's risk reward. You need to manage your risk as the investor. There's a quote that I love and it goes, there's no such thing as risky investments. There's only risky investors. So you need to do your work and you need to become that person who makes those smart decisions so that you can see your portfolio grow over time. Now it's really not that hard right now because cryptocurrency is giving everybody an equal opportunity. And now the Binance Smart Chain and PancakeSwap is giving us an even better opportunity than Ethereum was doing. So I will mention with the risk, when you add liquidity, now these token prices can fluctuate. And when they fluctuate, the amount of tokens that you can pull out may be different from the time that you put it in. So I put in 0.2 BNB and I got, and I also put in 3.3 cake. Now over time, this ratio can shift and I might not be able to take out that 0.2 BNB. I might only be able to take out 0.1 and take out more cake. This is called impermanent loss. I will be covering this topic in future DeFi videos, but for now we're gonna to stick to talking about PancakeSwap. So another way you can earn on the PancakeSwap platform is with lotteries. Now, to get involved in lotteries, you would simply put up cake tokens again, and now the jackpot that you would earn would be half of the total pot. And you would need to have your four numbers on your lottery ticket match the winning numbers exactly. So again, if you like playing the lottery, there's an opportunity right here for you to play the lottery and potentially make a lot of cake tokens, which is very cool being that they offer this to everybody. If you wanna risk it and go, go for it, go for it. It's right there for you. They also have NFTs. So you can buy NFTs on PancakeSwap, collect them, keep them in your MetaMask wallet, do what you want with them. You can flip them for more cake. Whatever route you wanna go with NFTs, you have the option here on PancakeSwap as well. Before I wrap this video up, we're just gonna check out the chart of PancakeSwap. So this is Cake versus Binance Coin. So now I wanna show you these huge wicks on the chart. As you can see, this is all one day here. We had one day where people just bought cake in droves and price rose 200% and dropped down 200% in the same exact day. So there are points in time where there is insane buying pressure for these cake tokens. This usually happens when a new release or a new pool gets released on the pancake swap network and there's insane APY to be made. So people rush in and buy as much cake as possible so they can stake it and earn more rewards. So be on the lookout for this. Make sure you are buying at a correct point or not a correct point, but a good risk reward point on the chart. Don't just rush into it. Now we had a huge explosive move up. We have huge bullish engulfing candles on the daily for um, pancake swap versus Binance coin. I expect this to keep picking up momentum as we go into April, because I think a lot more people are going to be learning about DeFi as it gets more popular and as people discover the insane yield and APY that you can be making on the Binance Smart Chain, specifically PancakeSwap um, platform. And there's gonna be a lot of buying pressure. Yes, there are whales out there that will be taking profit. Power to them, they deserve it. They got in early. They can take as much profit as they want. Never hate on anybody who takes profit because nobody ever went broke taking profit, but people did lose all their gains by not taking profit, by getting greedy and seeing their portfolio go up and all the way down. So use that as a lesson. Again, not financial advice. You make your own decisions. Do what you want. If we look at the cake USD chart, we are having a big rip. We just tested essentially the high of the candle bodies back from February. And we'll see what happens here. I'm very bullish on cake. I think I expected to break out of this range and create new all time highs. This token has a ton of value as you just saw in this tutorial, you can make a lot of money on the PancakeSwap.Finance platform. So please, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments section below. I'll be making more DeFi tutorials showing you how you can easily make money, make more crypto by yield farming and participating in these pools and liquidity providing. This is an alternative income strategy to your traditional trading where you're you know, trading with leverage or trading spot. Staking is way more hands-off less stress, and it is very, very lucrative. So again, let me know if you are a hodler of cake down in the comments below. Let me know if you're interested in participating in the PancakeSwap platform and start making that yield by flipping those cakes. All right, my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and we'll see you in the next one.